You gotta have a good amount of stick out on your uh, torch. Make sure you have a nice amount of stick out there. And uh, we'll get started welding here. Okay, I just wanted to go over the uh, welding setup I got here. Um, I haven't, I'm not a professional or I'm not a hobbyist. I kind of took one, one welding class in college for a little bit and that's pretty much it. So anyway, I'm gonna go over what I have. Uh, it's the cheapest welder that you can get online and I got it even cheaper because I bought it used, which I don't recommend doing. But um, anyway, I bought it used. It came with a whole bunch of tungstens, uh, a pack of tungstens, uh, and a lot of uh, filler wire. Uh, the filler wire is right there. Uh, it didn't come with the long, uh, the long ones, just the short rods right there. Uh, there's a lot more than that, but I used up a whole bunch when I was doing some practicing. But anyway, I ended up buying a Harbor Freight bench a welding table. It's a little high for the um, stool that I got for it, which I also got from Harbor Freight. Um, you can't see it right now, but let me grab that. So, that's the stool I got from Harbor Freight, 25 bucks. 20% um, off, it was like $20. But anyway, that uh, that stool is a little short for the bench. It's still usable. The the actual welder itself hasn't given me a problem. I've been doing pretty well with it. I bought it. So the welder I paid uh, six hundred uh, for, and it came with the welding cart and everything I mentioned. It did not come with the tank, however. So I had to buy a 80 CFM, uh, sorry, 80 uh, cubic feet tank, um, which was uh, about 200, 180 something dollars uh, filled with uh, obviously argon, 100% argon. So we have that, the torch and the um, hose and everything is all original. That's what AHP um, is supplying now with their their units, which is actually a really nice torch. It's the flexible head torch. Um, the hose is pretty legit. So, anyway, I got my grand clamp there, and the foot pedal is pretty decent. I mean, people say it's not amazing. I think everybody's main complaint is that it slides across the floor, so it, if you get some pads to put it on, or put some rubber pads underneath it, you're, you're all set. You got a pretty nice uh, foot pedal there. Um, especially for a beginner, you don't need to go out buying the top of the line foot pedals or anything like that. Uh, the regulator it came with is also pretty decent. Uh, it's actually a really good regulator. I have uh, the kid provided the box for it, the box for it as well. So that's the regulator. It's not bad. It's pretty good quality. I haven't had a problem with it. Um, and I also ended up buying a gas lens kit. Um, kid provided a bunch of uh, uh, nozzles and everything, but he didn't have any gas lenses. And I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Chucky2009 did a review of this unit. Uh, so did uh, um, Welding Tips and Tricks. Jordy from Welding Tips and Tricks, he did a bunch of reviews on it. So if you guys haven't seen that, I would definitely recommend going to their channel and checking their stuff out. Cause that's mainly where I got um, the information to, to, to actually pursue what I'm doing here. Um, but anyway, this is just my little garage setup. Had to buy a little bench grinder from Harbor Freight as well. Um, that was, I think, 30 or 40 bucks. So, I mean, all in all, I was in about, uh, once I bought everything, close to $1,000 for all in. Uh, which isn't bad. I was gonna end up. Buy, I was gonna buy the. I was going to buy the Everlast uh, brand 
welders, but I just couldn't justify the price for the uh, DC and AC. Even though it's cheap, it's just I'm I'm so new. I don't want to waste the money on such a nice welder when I'm just practicing. So anyway, got a couple of welds done on aluminum. Uh, Jordy from Tips and Tricks recommends starting with aluminum, and I totally agree because uh, once I switched to steel after doing some a couple hours on aluminum, it's so much easier so I really appreciate all the uh, the sensitivities and the the different things you have to change and the control you need to do aluminum that once you switch to steel it becomes a breeze so uh, for anybody starting just like like starting out like me I would recommend to start off on aluminum uh, and watch some of those uh, some of those YouTube videos out there anyway that's uh, that's my setup I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of welds now, um, and yeah, well, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, oh, also, I bought, uh, I went on, as far as the material goes, you can go to Home Depot and pay a whole bunch of money for a sheet of uh, steel or a sheet of aluminum or whatever, which is fine, but I went on eBay and found that people are selling scrap aluminum and scrap uh, steel for cheap, like you can buy... I bought that 13 pound box over there. We can see it. Bought that 13 pound box on eBay for, I believe it was like $15. 15 or, 15 or 20 bucks. But anyway, it was cheap. I mean, you have to pay shipping, which was I think like $10 or something, but it's it's a lot of aluminum scrap. Like they're, And they're all relatively the same, same size. I mean, Take you guys off and show you. So yeah, there's a lot of scrap in here, and there was some oil residue on it. Um, so I would recommend cleaning them off, uh, getting some acetone. Get make sure you get. Uh, I mean, this is cheap, like $15 for a thing of acetone, and definitely get some gloves, because uh, acetone is pretty much nail polish remover, but it's some nasty shit, so definitely recommend getting some gloves. I ended up buying these on Amazon, uh, the Gloveworks HDs in medium, and they actually... I, I've only used one pair so far and they still hold up so I mean granted all I'm doing is rubbing metal with acetone but they feel like they feel pretty good quality. I'll leave a link for all these things in the description but except for the welder. Uh even the welder. Oh see there. Got the grips on them, so it's <sighs> pulling really hard on that. Still didn't still didn't tear. So, anyway, good quality gloves. <clears throat> the other gloves are the actual TIG welding gloves, which are these guys. Um, I guess they're pretty famous. Everybody uses them. So far, so good. Haven't had a problem with them. Um, as far as PPE goes, personal, personal protective equipment, I have, I, bought, I ended up buying this welding helmet is Antra or yeah Antra an Antra helmet uh, so far so good I haven't gotten flashed or anything I like the controllability on the side um, it has the controls on the inside of the helmet as well for sensitivity and uh, setting the darkness levels well, the darkness level range, the actual adjustment for darkness levels on the side. But anyway, it's a good quality helmet so far. Haven't had a problem. I've heard Harbor Freight helmets are pretty good too. I uh, haven't tried them out yet, but I might possibly do that. It's just that your vision's, you know, your two eyes are the all you have. So um, take care of them, spend the money to get a good quality helmet. Anyway, the 
last but not least, um, and actually what allows me to weld for a decent amount of time without feeling disgusted, is uh, one of these, which I got from uh, Amazon as well. The 3M7503's uh, respirator. And then I got the filters for them as well. So, I think this was about $40, uh, $30 for the, re uh, the respirator and uh, 20 bucks for the filters possibly, I forget. I'll leave a link in the description for that too. Um, so far so good, I really like this. Uh, the, what's his name, uh, Chucky2009, uh, did a review on these, I really liked them and apparently welders like them a lot. Uh, so far, so good. I probably will use these filters for a good long time since I'm not doing a lot of uh, grinding or anything as of now. Uh, probably in the future I will be, but not bad. If you can see inside there. So it looks like there's a flap right here. So when you breathe out, that flap lets air, lets air out and the air goes blowing down through here. Um, and then when you breathe in, that flap obviously closes, and you're sucking in through these through these filters. So that's how that works. Uh, I'm sure you knew that already, but for those of you who didn't, that's how it works. Um, so yeah, that's. That's a respirator. I highly recommend getting one of these. Uh, again, welding is a dangerous thing. It's not uh, It's not good for you. So having the proper protection is definitely going to add some years to your life. Alright, so I'm going to do a couple of welds now just so you guys can see how it looks. Um, sorry for the shop being, or the garage being such a mess. I have very limited space for all this stuff. Anyway. Let's uh, let's get started. Okay, pending everything's clean, uh, you can get some decent welds. Obviously, I'm still learning, <laughs> um, so mine aren't that great. But uh, once you get going, you get pretty. Uh, all right, this is all garbage. So I guess we can all agree that this uh, it's not the welder; it's me. But um, anyway, this is some of the some of the beads I did on steel. Way easier. Um, still nothing amazing, nothing impressive. Show sure the front of this thing. This is the newer one. It's got the pulse features, AC DC, and everything. One of the things I didn't realize uh, the plus goes the red plus goes to uh, the ground which I didn't think I didn't do at the time and I was wondering why it wasn't working properly so just a rookie mistake so make sure you ground your ground is positive um, that's what goes to the clamp they even made the lead for the ground red just to let you know but and the uh, the um, torch black so you don't screw it up, but I still screwed it up. Anyway, um, I, mean, I have it plugged into just the household um, 110 outlet, and I was going to run a whole 240 line out to this thing, but it's actually doing perfectly fine with uh, with 110. Haven't tripped the breaker at all. Um, and the kid that I bought it from said he never tripped the breaker either, and he's got a 15 amp uh, fuse, uh, fused uh, disconnect or breaker for this thing. So, um, so you don't have to worry about that, which is kind of nice. It comes with this cord, um, so you can plug it in uh, to your regular wall outlet. I've never, I've never ran the grinder and had this on at the same time though. Um, but I do know when I had the heat gun on, I had the heat gun on, and I believe that heater inside the car when I was doing the remote start uh, wiring, 
and I tripped the breaker for that, so, um, yeah, so, anyway. Places you get the tank at, one thing you should, you should notice, you should realize is, uh, wherever you buy the tank is most likely the only place that you're going to be able to fill it. Um, there, there are a few exceptions to that rule, but it's becoming harder and harder to, to buy a tank, like on eBay or whatever, and just go to a random place and get it filled. Uh, unless the tank the tank is from that place. All right. Uh, hope hope that helps some people. If you guys have any comments or questions, just leave it in the description. Um, I've been running the welder for about an hour straight with uh, very little pause. Um, and I've been I touched the tungsten uh, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, like eight times so far. So, yeah, not not very good. But uh, machines held up. Uh, it's, I know it's not good for the machine, but uh, it's held up. So, anyway, I'm gonna clean all this up. Thank you.